Hello beautifuls, this is Avrami here, and welcome back to our home. So, we are here with Maria. Um, I believe mom was yelling for us or something, if I'm correct. It's been a while since I've actually touched this game, so I don't clearly remember where we're at. So I'm so sorry, but let's get right to it. I don't blame her one bit. For some reason, I wanted to keep her a bit close to me at this time around. To, close to me this time around. Oh, oh, right, I'm Emily. Uh, don't worry about it. I assume you're ready. Is she saying anything? I can't hear her if she is. Oh, okay, anyway. Yeah! Alright, good. Grab her hand in mind, we will make our way towards her school, as we've done the last hundred times. Her hand gets a little sweaty, which isn't the norm for her. She's nervous, but not in the manner she usually is. Something's on her mind. Hey, Maria. Yeah? Oh, I guess she didn't have a line right there. What's wrong? Well... She kicks a rock, watching it soar off the side of the road. She fidgets, looking away and avoiding the question. Come on, I won't bite. I'm... I'm worried about Alex. Aww. Alex? Yeah, he's been acting really funny and I don't like it. It's weird and not like him and kind of scary. <gasps> it's weird. Symptoms of drug use. I've been noticing the same exact thing, if Maria's noticed it, that I'm almost positive the rest of the family has. Harkening back my back to my late night conversation, Lauren recommended an intervention. I wonder, would it help to have Maria join us? Is she old enough to even handle such a thing? Would she be able to keep it together? And would she be able to add anything to the conversation? Is her brother too, it's only fair, or we shouldn't subject her to what it could entail. I mean, she's worried as well, and I feel like Maria, in her own way, is very mature for her age. So I think she can handle it. If she can't handle it, then I kind of misjudged her. So I'm sorry if I did, Maria, I'm so sorry. It doesn't matter what I think, she's Alex's sister, just as much as I am. We both care for him, and this is a family matter. For the family, that matters. Truth be told, I'm worried too. Lauren noticed it as well. She recommended we hold an intervention, a little heart-to-heart -heart session with him, so that we can try to help him get better. If you want to, you're invited. We're doing the research on it today. Oh, I loved you. Aww. That was easier than I thought it would be. She jumped at the occasion immediately, which isn't like her. She's normally much more shy and slower on the uptake than that. That settles it then. I'll make sure to pick you up when you're ready. When we're ready. Thank you. It means a lot. I really want to help him, even if I can't do too much. Of course. Aw, she's so cute. Moving forward, we share some more idle chat on our way to her school. It's wonderful, really, to have her school to be so close and on the way to mine. It's one of the few conveniences I'm afforded in this life. It lets me keep a close eye on Maria as well. The paths lined with trees, the road quiet, the wind still. It's straight out of the picture. It's a good feeling being in the now, just quieting down. Yeah, quieting down and listening to what's around you, observing from the outside. Sometimes I feel that acting upon the world around me might be better, but I don't think about that often. Generally, in my experience, it's best not to. Maybe I should, though, especially with what's happened. I guess this intervention is my way of breaking out into the world, even if it wasn't exactly my idea. I'll just have to wait and see. So... You can see how we continue to tell retellings of the same story as told from a millennia ago. Religion often plays a part in the binding threads of these narratives. But, like any hero myth, there's room for exaggeration. I kept looking up at the clock in the middle of this lecture. Lauren's inconspicuously missing from class. I assume it's more drama department work. I'll be ably be lying there when this class is finally mercifully over. Not all religious stories get treated with equal reverence around the world. In the West, North gods are more at home within comic book movies. And if you look over in Japan, Christianity and media is more of an aesthetic than a religion. Aesthetic? <laughs> Wait, I didn't get to finish. Nope, not staying here a second longer. I think the school bell rang Emily. didn't happen. Emily! Ready to go? Uh, go where? Also, you missed class. I thought you'd be over with drama folk. Skipped it! What? Yeah, did some running around. Let's head to the parking lot. 
We're going for a drive. To, a uh, where? The library, of course. You know your way around there, right? I mean, yeah, but... All right, no dawdling. Let's go. Oh, okay, I guess so. My arm, my arm hurts. Please stop. <laughs> Nearly yanking my arm off, her boisterous presence carves a path through the throngs of people crowding the hallway. What happened next feels like a translucent blur. Oh, transient blur. Sorry, not translucent. In a mad rush, she drops me off in the passenger seat of her car and we're on our way. I figured we'd be going to a clinic or the hospital by ourselves, but... Ah, uh, no need. I did some running around earlier today and picked up some brochures. Brochures? Oh, brochures? <laughs> Lauren's hand gestures towards a small stack of leaflets in the back. Reaching behind me, I grab a few. How to stage a successful intervention. The first step is to talk to friends and family of the person and talk about planning for an intervention. It's important to select people they care about to attend. It's also important to keep the intervention a surprise so the addict cannot avoid the situation. Hey, did you really skip all your drama work to grab these things? Uh, not the whole thing, but I ducked out a little early and did some running around. Trust me, Em, I'm really good at multitasking. It sound those the the, the the sound sound like two different bit clips. <laughs> I can see it's just well, I'm really glad you're doing this for me. I don't know anyone who'd go out of their way like this for me. It's okay, Em. I know it's been really hard for you lately. I've had to bounce back from some rough patches myself, so you can talk to me whenever. Okay? Times like this, we ought to stick together. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. I thumb through the pampl pamphlets. There's some good stuff here to touch on. Alright, we're here. Wish I had more time to read all this. As Lauren pulls into the parking lot, I hang on her words a little bit. What Lauren said right now, it's hard to notice, considering she's so upbeat all the time. I want to ask her about it later. Right now, we have work to do. So, I guess we'll just look at something on drug use and... Hey, is that Maria over there? Huh? Guess she beat us here. Oh, you invited her here? It's family too, so I figured it'd be okay. Yeah, she'll be a big help, I'm sure. She walked here? And we drove? Why didn't we pick her up? Hey, Maria, there you are. Oh! Maria jogged over to us, a smile on her face. What's that you got there? Um... I wanted to see if there was anything I could help Big Brother with, so I came here. I didn't find anything that would help, though. It's hard to find anything. The sorting system is a little obtuse, isn't it? Hey, Maria. We're gonna have a talk with your brother later. Wanna help us rehearse? It'll be a little like role-playing. Oh. Like pretend, right? I can help. I feel like so like embarrassed when during like some some job interviews that I go to you have to like fake role play especially for like retail and I hate it so much like I hate being thrown to to role play right then and there it's like uh I don't know what to do <laughs> especially since I had that situation happen to me when it was like my first job interview and I was like uh what the hell do I do <laughs> Yeah, I think this is going to turn out alright. Although, how did you even get here? You could have gotten a drive, right? Oh, I took the city bus after school. You figured out their bus schedules. Pretty clever sister you got, Em. Oh, you smart. No kidding, like seriously? So, we should probably find a corner to work then. We all find a place to sit at the corner of the library. I, op I reopen one of the pamphlets, scanning its contents. We should probably prepare personalized speeches to tell Alex when we do the intervention. Uh, I, I'm not good at speeches. Hmm, you can get some practice in with us. How's that sound? <laughs> Here, I'll play the role of Alex. It'll be easy. Uh, yeah, just sit there and look angry. That's his role. I... Uh, but, but you can't be Alex. Why? Because she's a girl, Maria. You can't do that. 
You're too nice. Alex is really grumpy. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, she's right, though. I couldn't help snickering at that. Maria really was ruthless sometimes. I know Alex loves you very much, Maria. Yeah, how about we just pretend? Oh, is that the end of her line? Oh, she wasn't done, but pretend I'm Alex, okay? Sh sure, I can try. Great. How about you tell me what you have on your mind? What do you want to tell Alex? I... Maria cautiously looks in my direction. I nod slightly as if to encourage her. Takes a deep... I... Takes a breath. B big bro? Alex? I... I love you a, a lot, and it... Oh, no! Take a breath, Maria. Take it slow. No rush. Uh, I... Alex, I love you so much. You, you're the only brother I have, and... Oh, I, I want to be there for you as you get better. And then you, you'll be my brother again. Oh, this is sad. What do you think? Good delivery. Just needs more rehearsing. Lauren took Maria's hand. That'll be okay, sweetie. Just speak from the heart and be honest, and you'll do just fine. Okay? I thought she was speaking from the heart. She was just a bit nervous. Oh, okay, L Lori. That's a good girl. Hey, Maria, why don't you find a pen and paper and you can start writing down your feelings? I'm sure it'll be a good speech. Okay, uh, I'll go check with the lady up front. Pushing back her chair, Maria darts off to the front of the library. Grinning, I turn to Lauren. <sighs> I knew you did acting, but I didn't think you were a, a, a coach as well. Uh, it was nothing. Just stuff I had taught to me when I was a kid. Started young? Yeah, it's been fun. Hey, Lauren, I have a question. Hmm? What is it? It's not a big deal, but you've been getting a really close look at my family the last few days, and... I was wondering what it was like with your family. <laughs> is that all? She pauses, her eyes lowering to the table. Why is, she so why is she so quiet all of a sudden? I live with my dad. He's a high up in a chain of movie theaters. We make time to go to a movie a few times a month. I always get a big bag of popcorn. Maybe it's too much. I, uh, didn't notice anything weird about your figure. What about your mother? Uh, that's the thing. I... never really met my mom. Aww. She died in childbirth, so it's just been me and Dad. Oh, that's kind of sad. What? Lauren lost her mother at such a young age, too. There's a sinking feeling in my gut. I didn't know. I couldn't imagine. Hey, Em. You can stop looking so sad, okay? It's fine. I never really knew her anyway. Which is... Sad and truthful at the same time. But you must miss her, right? <laughs> the thoughts cross my mind, but... I love my dad. He raised me right. And when he couldn't do everything himself, he got some help. Oh. From who? Is it weird to have a maid? Uh, usually rich people have that. <laughs> huh? I guess it's unusual, but given the circumstances, I... <laughs> guess I was special. Dad must have missed Mom a lot. I guess he took more time just to take care of me. I was a lucky daughter. I've had a nice upbringing. Comfortable one. Yeah, and you make and you making people happy every day. I like looking ahead to the future. Thinking about things if they had been a little different is hard. Sorry for dumping all this on you, Em. I don't really talk about these things. <laughs> Why? It's nothing to be ashamed of. Mm, it's not, but people look in. People start looking at me different when they hear about that sort of thing. I don't really want to be pitied. Sorry. I just want to put some smiles on people's faces every day. I'm happy enough just doing that. 
Lauren. You're so brave or I won't see you differently. Oh, you're pretty brave. Lauren, you must be the bravest person I know. <laughs> I'm not brave. I'm fine. I've had a pretty cushy life, all things considered. I'm more worried about you, honestly. Uh, if that's so... I still think you're incredible. I want to strive to be more like you. <laughs> oh gosh, you make me blush. Was that too mushy? Maybe. Not enough. No. But that's what I like about you. Instantly the song came came in my head. <laughs> by Smash Mouth, right? I don't remember. You're honest. Hey Lori, big sis. They don't have writing stuff, so so I guess we'll have to use a computer. Oh, hey Maria. Uh that's no big deal. I'm a pretty quick typer. I'll transcribe your speech for you. Transcribe? She's gonna be your secretary, Maria. Wowie! <laughs> Wowie? N not quite like that. Settling down from girl talk, we change gears. We have to get our feelings out in writing. And make sure Alex hears it from us, from our hearts. Lauren is a great help, helping us rehearse a bit. Feels like a drama production of her own. We spend a few hours like this, thinking of what to say and how to say it. But my mind wanders elsewhere at times. Every time I look at Lauren, she seems more mature. She's been through a lot on her own. She doesn't try to give off that impression, but she carries responsibility well. Why Why does she gravitate towards me so much, though? I don't get it. I'm not nothing special. Nothing like her. Oh well, now is not the time to question it. We're friends, and I'm glad we were able to see, able to share this time together. Once we're satisfied, we agree to head home. Alex is probably already home. Every inch and inch of my being crawled with apprehension. We said we would talk to Alex, but now that his door is staring us in the face, the reality of it all is pushing down on me. Come on, Em. All we're going to do is talk to him. It'll be fine. Is he home? We just want the best for Alex, so everything will turn out okay. I guess I couldn't back down even if I tried. You're right. I'm ready. Slowly, I knocked on the door. Hey, Alex? Yeah? Maria, Lauren, and I want to talk to you. Is that alright? Fine. You can come in. Oh, his voice is so cute! Oh, Jesus. I forgot how horrible there. As filthy as ever, but that's not what we're here for right now. So? What do you want? Lauren elbowed me in the rib. Guess I'm not getting out of this one. Well, to get straight to the point. Where, uh, hear about your drug habit. Biggest. <laughs> That's so cute. We just want to help. Yeah? So does mom. And she hasn't managed jack shit. This isn't about her. Like hell it isn't. That shit is the only way I can stay sane with her always on my back. Mom's not exactly perfect, but is this really your only answer? Should I just lock myself in my room all day instead? Damn it, Alex! Don't make this about me again! I oh, can't really what? talk about your family situation, but do you really think all the harm you're doing to yourself is worth it? Nope. And it's not just you. We're worried about you, so... None of you have any idea what it is you're talking about. Maybe we don't. But can't we talk about it? This isn't something we can ignore. Please, Maria and I have dealt with mom too. We can help. How? She's a bitch through and through. You know that as well as I do. Talking about it isn't gonna do anything. You're just here to wave your superiority around and set your deadbeat brother onto the path of righteousness, right? Just shut up and leave if you're only gonna tell me shit I already know. Looks like this intervention is getting off the, on the wrong foot. There's no direction here. If we're going to do anything for Alex, we need to give this conversation some kind of focus. We can't do that yet, Alex. There's still one thing you need to understand. Really? Try me. I'm not nearly as stupid as you think I am. I should really try to choose my words carefully here. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Drugs are bad for you. This affects more than just you. You don't need drugs to make it through this. Maybe the second one. Do you seriously think I don't know that? 
I'd have to be an idiot to think I was only hurting myself. Then why are you doing it still? Hell, maybe I am an idiot, but not the one you're making me out to be. I'm not this way because I want to be. I, I just... It's just the only way I've been able to keep myself sane, okay? Sane crap that I already know? That already makes me feel like shit? Oh no. How is that supposed to do anything but make me feel worse? Oh shit. I, I'm sorry, Alex. I didn't think... No. No, wait, 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 wait. Let's see what the other choices are. Drugs are bad for you. That's obviously wrong. I feel like all these choices are horrible. Do you really mean it? Or are you just saying that? Oh, wait, was it? I mean it. Oh, did he really need me to tell him drugs are no good for him? I thought he already freaking knew that. I know things can get out of hand, and sometimes it feels like the world can't offer enough to make it worth it. But I think maybe there are things worth searching for that you won't find if you hide behind the easy answers. And to be honest, I don't know where they are, but we have to look because... Because if we don't, then what's even the point? So please, Alex, please start looking. You deserve better than this. I deserve it, huh? That's a little vague, but I think I see what you mean. Okay, I didn't want to choose that option because I thought that was like the most stupidest answer. Because I would thought... I, w I thought he already knew drugs are bad for him. And that's not his way out. So I thought he would already think that. So I didn't choose that answer, even though I wanted to. I'm just going to stick with here, All right? To be honest, I've already tried to stop quitting. I felt like I should have told you earlier, but I sort of wanted that lecture so I could feel bad for myself. <laughs> but thinking about it, I should shoot for something better than self-pity. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's over? Everything's okay now? Well, I hope so. But shit like this just doesn't go away when you tell it to. I don't really know if I can handle it. It's hard enough already. And it might only take one outburst from mom to make me crack. Oh. Isn't he young though? I keep forgetting his age, like 14 or 15. Like really young. That's no problem. You've already finished the hardest step. And you've got two adorable sisters who love to support you. If, if you ever want someone to talk to, I'll listen. And she's like so young too, and she's telling you that she'll listen to you, Alex. This definitely isn't over, but it's still. It, it, but it looks like we finally have a spot of hope. Hey, wait, what's that about two adorable sisters? Woohoo! I'm sure everything will turn out okay for you guys. After we settled down and exchanged our goodbyes, everyone went their separate ways. Working in my bedroom has always been a good opportunity to clear my head. I think it's doing me better today than it used to. The repeated motions of the sewing machine has something of a therapeutic quality to it. Calming, relaxing. After today's intervention, I definitely need something a little quieter, slower pace to wind down. Another busy day in the Westinson's household. I guess it's better to stay busy. I think today went really well. Lauren was a big help in all of us. We didn't have to get mom involved, which is fine by me. She would have probably made things a lot worse anyway. I'll just have to help Alex through this. And on an even better note, I'm making some really solid progress on this outfit for Lauren. Think she's gonna love the polka dot patterns. Ah, thinking, think, I'm smiling. I never smile. I think everything's gonna be okay. Huh? What? It's me. You need to talk. Yo, where do you come from? Hello? Uh, wh what's the matter? Get the door. Please. Being really terse. Is it about the intervention we just had? Rising from my chair, I get the door. What's he need? Yo, we need to talk. Why is he talking like this? Sure, sure. What, what do you need? He shoots a glance down the hallway both ways before looking me dead in the eye. I'm coming in. Okay, I mean, I would totally take this completely wrong if we we're not brothers and sisters at this point. Well, wait a second, you can't just... Without asking for any sort of permission, he shoved me back into my room, shutting the door behind him. Technically, he did ask you... Wait, right? He, he did? Did he ask? Oh, no, he didn't ask. <laughs> I can't do it. Well, what do you mean you can? I can't do it, okay? <laughs> Let me slap this boy. Wincing, he recoils, putting some distance between us. The room's a little cramped, so his back merely presses to the door. This room's cramped? It looks huge to me. Words are fa failing me right now. Seeing him in this desperate state, I have to tell him something, though. Shit. I wanna ha- I wanna save him, so I wanna- 
pick the best choice. You aren't alone? You can't give up? Why are you doing this? Can I do that? Let's see what this choice is. Why are you doing this, Alex? We agreed to get over this together. You can't give up now. What would Maria think of you? You're her brother. Ugh, you sound like mom. It's not like that. I can't help you if you just give up like this. I'm not. We're not debating this. Just listen. I need you to do something for me. Is this an okay answer? I don't know. He rummaged in his pockets, fishing for something. His movements, they were shaking. He was trembling. Withdrawal symptoms. He must have it really bad. I'm sorry, I, I didn't know. Not important. I never actually got rid of this shit. He pulls out that awful box I encountered only a few days ago. Inside are satchels of white powder, syringes, and some weird tool that looks like a razor. The color drains from my face. This is the real reality we're facing. It's easy to turn to turn a blind eye to it and pretend it's out of sight, out of mind. But when the stuff is in front of you, it's scary. I can feel the color drain from my face before I swallow my apprehension. Alex, why didn't you get rid of this? You said you dropped the habit. I just told you why not. Because I couldn't, alright? That's why I need you. Yeah, that's right. He couldn't bring it upon himself to do it, so he's asking me to? <sighs> I don't really want anything to do with this stuff, you know? I know. I wish I didn't have to. But I can't trust myself to actually act on it. I, I need you to do it. I've tried and failed. And now I'm back to square one. I, I know it's asking a lot, but... Can I trust you to get rid of this shit? Really? The fuck? You're not giving me much choice here. Alright, I'll do it, but you owe me, alright? You name it. I got it. Probably. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> Just don't let mom find it, okay? Yeah, sure, I'll get on it. Thanks. Really, I really appreciate it. I'm gonna get some water. And then rest. Got some demons to fight. Yeah, sure. No problem. I'll let you go. Alex lumbered out the door, leaving me alone with his Ill illicit contraband. Illicit? Is that a word? Uh, is that pronounced correct? <laughs> he has some nerve leaving me with this stuff, but I could see the logic. He could relapse any time he still had access to this stuff. I don't know how I'm supposed to get rid of the tools, though. Maybe I could bring it into the police? Throw it in the dump? I take a trip, and it's getting late to do it. I'll hide it under my bed and deal with it in the morning. Oh, before I do. Ugh, be careful, there's a needle in there. It is really dangerous to mess with this thing. I'm just gonna grab the drugs for now. So this is heroin. It reminds me of the chewable pills I had when I was a kid. Alright, to the bathroom. I make my way over to the bathroom, just across from me. This shouldn't be too hard. Just gotta flush this shit and forget. Quickly before someone sees. Just need to dump and flush. Hello? Jesus Christ, that sound nearly jumped out of, <laughs> out of my fucking skin. Emily! What's that racket you're making? N nothing mom, just slipped. You know, casual, everyday events. Was that a convincing lie? Hopefully, who's calling me at a time like this? Lauren? Hey Em. Hey Lauren. Today was pretty exciting, right? I think we made a lot of progress. I'm really proud of you guys. Uh, yeah, progress about that. Thanks. Um, why are you calling? It's really late. Oh, yeah, I wanted to ask. Are you free tonight? Oh, you want to Hey, I am free if you are down. Low-key down with me to throw this stuff away. Down? <laughs> free, like, right now. It's uh, almost 10. Yeah, exactly. You want to meet in the park in, like, uh, 10 minutes? You know, at this park. What for? The night sky. It's really clear and full of stars. I sent you a picture. You did? I didn't get any picture. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's pretty. Wow, you weren't kidding. It's really nice out. What camera did you use? Because my iPhone does not pick up stars. <laughs> yeah, right? Anyway, I'm out here right now. So come and join me. Okay, okay, Tuts, hold on. I need to get... I need to... Dump the drugs first, and I'll be there. I'll be there. I don't think you should flush it down the toilet, though. Because I feel like, for some reason, it's going to float back up and be like, Hello, Mom. <laughs> yeah, definitely. See you then. I hang up the phone, realizing I have an empty, overturned Ziploc bag. Ziploc bag. Huh. I look in the toilet bowl. Guess the deed's done? 
Wait, I might have spilled some. Let me look around. I don't see any on the floor. I guess they all made it into the toilet. Time to flush our troubles away. I oh, was it powder? I thought it was pills. I pull the lever watching the pellets. Oh, it's pellets. We're all vanished into the plumbing. Good riddance. Alright, let's get ready to see Lauren. I have to a lot to say to her tonight, and I really don't want to keep her waiting. I don't trust that. I don't trust that at all. If you guys watch House, House try to like stop um drinking his meds, those painkiller meds, I forgot what they're called. Uh I I forgot what they were called, but like he tried to lay off on that and then he had one pill stashed away or something in the bathroom or something and he was about to drink it. He like he stared at it. And strained, and he was in so much pain. He wanted to take that pill because he takes it every single freaking day. And then I think the lady doctor came in and found him and took the pill. And then I think she tossed it into the toilet and flushed it away. So then he couldn't drink it at all or take it at all. I feel like Alex is going to find one of those pills. It's probably like under the sink or something. And he's going to take it. I don't know. That's my theory behind it. But anyway, this is where we're going to stop for today. They stay, stay beautiful. I was going to say they. I was trying to say thanks and stay at the same time. Stay beautiful. Oh. Th thanks for watching. Stay beautiful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I had a brain fart. I'm sorry. <laughs>